This is Mike Gunther. My name is John C. We're here for baptism following the command of Jesus. Um, Joe Erkovich introduced Mike and I, suggested we might be a good fit for a discipleship relationship. He was right. Mike and I connected and he's been a blessing. He is eager to meet, he's always prepared, and he's read the material and ready for a discussion. During the course of our meetings, I shared that I was baptized when I was young, but it was because of my, my friends were doing it. I realized as an adult, I was not a Christ follower. I knew the facts about Jesus, but finally asked Jesus into my heart through faith in his finished work. Mike related, but still relied on his childhood experience. The Saturday before Easter, we went deeper and discussed hard questions about his salvation. On Easter Sunday, Will felt led by the Lord to change his sermon. He preached a strong evangelistic message. He talked about many of the things that Mike and I discussed on Sunday. It was like he was there with us. I was amazed and wondered if Mike had seen the same thing. I saw him after the service. He heard it too. And he told me that he realized he was not truly a Christian. The Holy Spirit had opened his eyes. He said he wanted to accept Christ and asked me to pray with him. We went into the sanctuary after the service and prayed. It seemed that the sermon was just for Mike, and it could have been. I was reminded of Luke 15, three through seven, which says, so he told them a parable. What man of you having a hundred sheep, he has lost one of them, does not leave the 99 in the open country and go after the one that is lost until he finds it. And when he has found it, he lays it on his shoulders rejoicing. Then he comes home, he calls his friends together and his neighbors saying to them, rejoice with me for I have found my sheep that was lost. Just so I tell you that there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 righteous persons who need no repentance. There was great joy in heaven over Mike's salvation as it is with each believer. I enjoy my meetings with Mike. It's a privilege to grow together. The verse I have for you is Hebrews 12, one and two. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely. Let us run with endurance the race set before us, looking to Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. God bless you, my brother. I have three affirming questions for you. One, do you understand that you're a sinner? that you can do nothing to earn God's favor or salvation by your own efforts? Do you believe that faith in Jesus' finished work is a free gift and it's the only requirement for your salvation? In light of Matthew 4, 19, do you commit to be a disciple of Jesus Christ who follows Christ and is formed by Christ and fishes for Christ? Okay. I baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit buried with Jesus in baptism unto death, raised to walk in newness of life.